Hey everybody, it's the Pop Star Champ here. I'm back again with Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. Let's get back into it and see what world we've landed in. So last time we were traversing with Sora, we were in Destiny Islands, but now we seem to have landed in a town called Traverse Town, and we've talked to Sid, and now we're just gonna explore and see what we can find next. I don't think there's anything we can do with these unless I attack them. Oh, let me see if I can time this. I think you need ice to do this effectively, but... Ah, I'm missing. Yeah, and we have to uh, distinguish all these before we can get this chest. So let's just ignore that for now and come back later. Okay, excuse me, princess. And this should be the iron shop where we will find Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Charge of keeping the shop clean. It's easier than the red room, wherever that is. Rick and I are enough money to, here to go on our own adventure. Welcome. And yeah, I'd want to buy something, but I have absolutely no money. What do I want to talk about? I handpicked everything on the shelves. We carry only the best. Yeah, sure you do. Okay, let's get back outside, and we should probably tr go into the next area from the back. What are you doing here? You'll need money if you want to buy items. No matter where you go, money talks. And we can't go in here because this is the item workshop Kubo. We're researching items such as this and super weapon forgering. Or forging. Forgering. Yeah, it's all fake, obviously. We have a key! Hit it! Hit it! Yeah, whatever. It's those creatures from the island. Yeah, these are the heartless, the Sealing People's Hearts, and I'm pretty sure with the final mix versions of Kingdom of Hearts, all of the enemies that aren't like the normal heartless or like the pure blood heartless as you see here, and some of those later in the game, they have different color schemes, like that soldier heartless back there, it's usually like more blue than brown, but yeah, since this is final mix, they change the color scheme of most things. I'll give it a new kind of uh, fresh feel, I guess. And back there, we leveled up and we got a new ability. Let's see if we can equip it. Russian strike enemy from a distance. And yeah, if we have this on, we can look at them from a little bit further and then just slide into them like it says. So. Like that. That'll help us gain the combos easier. Let's see, I think we're going to be in for a pretty big battle coming up if we go into... Well, first we have these guys. If we go into this building, there'll be like a huge swarm of enemies for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it's pretty good to get money early on. Huh, where is he? Leon! See, that should be about three. There we go, he's there. Six. Ah, uh, ten. Ah, uh, 
15. Oh, I don't know. The synthesis material. Need more. Uh, let's see, 6. 21. We're on like our fifth wave of enemies, too. So yeah, there's just like a really awkwardly huge amount of heartless in this one room at the beginning of the game for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I'm not even sure what this place is even like, supposed to be to, to attract so many of them. But like I said, if you decide to take out all of them, it's pretty good for grinding. You can just move on if you want, but I'm just gonna grind. I already have 100 money from having zero before. Even more, I can't even count this many. See, it's never ending in here. If only I had some teammates so I could help do this faster. Well, like I could find them somewhere in this world. Eh, not likely. Unless I could find Riku, I guess. That would be pretty cool. Ow. Yeah, luckily they drop HP because otherwise I'd be taking too much damage with all these scattered attacks. See, it's still more. This is like the tenth wave of people. Okay, that should be everything in here. There should be uh, some um, items up here too, but we don't have the abilities to make any of these stuff move, so let's just move on. And yeah, there shouldn't be any more waves of enemies that are like as long as that one, but first we're gonna go into this little secret area. Well, not secret, but like, special area. Not here either. This could take a while. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of the world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. And yeah, this will be the start of a sort of side quest in the game where you have to find... I forget their names, but like the Dalmatians, uh, 99 puppies. This would be in all of the worlds, as I said, in like treasure chests. You get three per chest that you find that they're in, and... Looks we'll like the fill of this place, which we come back and check up, check up on them, and you should get items along the way. I wonder how they afford this house to themselves. Although, now that I think about it, there's like a new, well not new, I think kind of old at this point, like some uh, recent series of the Dalmatians where they get their own house, like legitimately, it's really weird. They even got their own TV here. And now we're back outside where enemy should be. Although I think I'm starting to get a little bit too far from where I should be. We should be getting back to the first district after we come into the second one. So let's see, do I want to backtrack from here or... Yeah, I'm going to backtrack. And just so we can get a little bit of a move on since I've been fighting way too much. I'm just going to skip any enemies I see in the way. We'll find more of them soon. of you. At least you're easy. Not too tough. Yeah, see, that was even taking over the first area. 
Ooh, if I drop an actual item, it's very appealing. We'll be needing that one's coming up soon. Let's make sure I have as many items as I can carry. I'll go with high potion. Let's save real quick. I'm not gonna do any resets for what's about to come up, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get this in one, in one try. Also, let's see if you can buy anything real quick. Everything's still too expensive. I'll get them later. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have it your way. Yeah, so this is Leon. I'm not really too good with Final Fantasy lore, but he should be, I think, in Final Fantasy... 9 or something? And he has this gun blade, which is... Pretty good beach and you can shoot bullets, but he just shoots fireballs at you in this game and he's trying to approach. I think a good strategy is to air attack him and just get him some quick combos before he shoots at you too much. I'll see if you can get him to attack so he'll be wide open. There you go. I shouldn't get too reckless. Dang it. There you go. There we go, getting out of where he jumps is pretty good uh, strategy. Yeah, if the air attacks you attack fast enough to parry him more. Yeah, it's getting a weird corner Let's move before he gets weird. Yeah, it's not a perfect strategy, I guess. Let's see if he'll shoot something at me so I can get it. Now here we go. There we go. Oh, I just didn't need to. Whatever. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse.
Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. After all, I'm not scared. Excuse me, did the king send you? Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Wars. Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We gotta find them quick. Run! Just we need that too. That's right. The Keyblade. So... This is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after them, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island! Riku! You know what? I really don't know. I hit the keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try and let me find a treasure chest or a door lock. There we go, an elixir. First, let's equip that, and also, yeah. Back there, we also fought Squall Leon, and it was a kind of optional fight again, where you can lose it and you won't get a game over, but you just won't get, as you saw, 30 experience points, which is pretty good. It's a little bit of a bummer that I wasted a potion, but better to save than sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm not really too good at the menus in the first Kingdom Hearts game, but it's not bad. Let's see what he has to say, but first let's save. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get thrown right back into the action after this. Sooner or later, the heart will find you. Best prepare yourself. Prepare myself? To fight for your life. Are you ready? Yes, yeah, it's going. Yuffie! Go! 
Poor Donald. Yeah, no, I'm gonna fight these guys. So as I was saying, these are the soldier heartless, and they kind of do a bunch of kicks and stuff. I'll sweep more strength. Yeah, attacking all the mob kind of makes it hard to deal with before you're prepared. Luckily, just keep on attacking, you should be able to parry their attacks so they don't always hit you. Let's see, this is the area we can do before all this. Let's see if we can find some more items that I skipped. There should be a chest over here. Yeah. More synthesis materials. So our general mission right now is to find the leader of all these heartless before they keep on overwhelming us. Huh, can't open that, maybe because the battle's happening. Yeah, no, I can't get back up there. Let's see, if I take this and put it down here. There you go. There's a ticket. Pretty stone. I don't remember the, what that one does. Maybe it's more since this stuff. Potion. Okay, so that should be everything here. Let's get back over to the roof and go back into the hotel and make it out to the other side. That should be able to get us closer, closer to our destination. No, wait, one more chest. And one more fireman, presume. Oh no, the gun. Another potion. Yeah, I don't think we would get the heal spell for a while, so it's good to have all these now. You know, I played Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake recently, and when I look at this room, this kind of looks similar to Darn Corneo's room where he's trying to like date chicks or whatever. I wonder if that was intentional, if that's just like a coincidence of me seeing like Chinese stuff, I guess? I don't know. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, got some targeting it. Man, that was an onslaught parry. Oh, it's just a painting. We thought they let you target that, but whatever. Let's see, I think from here we go down this way. Yeah, there we go. Take out a little bit more of them, see if we can get some last minute levels. And also, so we can get some HP back before having to use some items. I'm taking on a lot of attacks, I should probably start dodging than just attacking wildly. There you go, much smoother. I right, mean, there's more of them. Let's get out of here. Although, wrong door. Okay, should be down, ignoring you again, down this hallway.
372. We're almost up to some items in the shop. Okay, this should be where we need to go. Arena, get the fight on these guys with a little bar. That's okay, I, I guess I can't try to explain what these guys do. Obviously, they're Dawn, Luffy, Classic Disney Stars, and. There's that fight work. Here's Guard Armor, one of the boss harvests who has multiple parts of him that you can break apart to get more HP bills as the battle goes on, and all the two limited attacks as time moves on. Anyway, back to Donald and Goofy. Goofy Goofy is basically like the knight and defender who can take a lot of attacks, doesn't have much magic, and Donald is the mage who fires up pretty powerful magic but then doesn't really have much HP or defense, and then so is kind of the all around her who can do both things if you need. And yeah, so this is just how they work. And now I'm just gonna take out his arms so he can stop using that spinning attack. Yeah, I also don't need to heal, I'm just gonna leave those balls around so that Donald and Goofy can pick them up. Get all over the place. There we go, one down. And both of them down. Now it's just the main body. Not too tough with a few friends by your side. Ah, uh, first equip item. So you were looking for me? <laughs> they too have been seeking the wielder of the keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course! Are you sure? Who knows? But we need up the top records to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of money, please. 
Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. My name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. Swung on the ice, they're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Make sure you prepare for the journey ahead of you. You don't know how far the hall is to spread. Check out the shops here. They got pretty neat stuff. This is from all of us. Sweet my money. Spend it as you see fit. And this is from Leon. Oh, thanks, Leon. Another, another elixir. Good luck. I hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep keep your spirits up. The gummy ship is outside that gate. The what? That's our ship. Wait till you see it. Hold on. Sora, this is for you. There we go, our first spell. Now you can use magic too. Goofy, give him the other thing. The what? You know. Oh yeah. How'd you give me an ability? Weird. Yeah, that's what I explained this earlier. Well, I see big adventures coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. So yeah, we're almost done with this world, but let's take their advice and go around. Hey, look at this mark. I wonder what it is. The Trinity mark. They appear in many places, only the blue ones react in the beginning. Yeah, I think as you do more and more events, they'll, their bond will become more powerful, and then you'll be able to go with two different colors of Trinity. Because I think we saw one around here that was, like, red in that alleyway, and then we wouldn't be able to, like, use that one yet. And we just got a postcard from the chest, which should be able to let us go over to this locked thing that you go with more items, but in any case. Oh, wait, no, it just... he knows how to use it now, so now it's unlocked. There we go. So, there should be some sort of mailbox around here that we can put postcards in to get items from. And then after that we'll see if we can buy the items and then we'll be on our way and in the park. And also let's see if we can equip what we had from that fight. Defense and increases strength and HP. Yeah, I'll buy these two items later. Unfortunately, I have to choose between either a radiant attack or getting a sliding dash. I think I should be able to... I don't know, I need a little bit more money, but I think if I can get an item that boosts AP, I can equip both of them. Let's see what these do. I, uh, HP. 
Oh, it doesn't say. It's just showing you what you can sell. Oh well. Hmm. Well, first I want to see what this does. Fully with Storm's party's HP and MP can only be used from the menu. I don't need that. That's worth 100 bucks. 400 money. And now with 1,000, we can get a new accessory. We do stock damage by 20% and slightly increase strength. Slightly increases AP, that's what I want. And then I have a little bit more for something else under Ice, Fire, General. I think we see the Fire uh, Heartless the most later on, so I'll go with Fire. And so I'll have Sora equip the Ability Stud. I'll lose a little bit of the. Eh, sorry. I'll lose a bit of defense, but it's worth the 2, H uh, 2 AP. And then I'll give Donald the. Fire and defense, and then it'll just give Goofy the normal protect chain. There you go, everyone's got something. And now I should be able to equip Dodge Roll so we can roll around her and avoid attacks easier. And then Goofy has, uh, let's see, Leap, Rocket, there we go. Yeah, he doesn't have much uh, magic. In fact, he has like no magic, it's just special abilities to do special attacks. As you can see here, there's a green... Yeah, green mark, but we can't use the one yet. I think you'll get this ladder up here down. And also, one more thing, we have this fire with a skull. If I did something. Yeah, it's just a cool event. And with all our money spent and our equipment set up, I think we're we'll all set to leave. We ever talk to this guy. Say, are you the one who beat that giant armor thing? No kidding? That's cool. Let's see, it seems like the dialogue changed. I don't know what she has to say. Seeing those shadows reminds me of the day my robe was destroyed. Maybe shadows will eventually swallow this world too. Man, she's just one big Debbie Downer. There's a ladder outside the second district's gizmo shop, Kubo. Yeah, I saw that. Ah, uh, the view. It's so beautiful. Oh, one more. Yeah, that's what most of the blue ones do. They just drop items on you. I oh, mean, that's a lot of money. If I had seen that before, I wouldn't have to have stolen anything. Oh well. Well, I think that's just about it for this part. Things are turning in. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Reset the battle level when you select your destinations. More stars mean stronger heartless in that world. Okay, one more thing. So, let's see, we have battle level 1, battle level 2, and we'll head here next time. But one thing I don't get about this map is, why is Disney Castle over there? I know Donald and Goofy came from there, but you never interact with it. I don't know why they put it there just to teaser, I guess. Oh well. Well, yeah, that's it for this part. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Warping Out.